everybody, welcome. We are about to go on a major trip around the world to Marlon Brando's Island in Tahiti, which is the trip of a lifetime, and we're going to be taking the pictures of a lifetime. This is going to be kind of like Sports Illustrated type photo shoots in exotic locations, except I, you know, I have a website called Shorts Illustrated for that exact same reason, to show people how good you can look when you're in your 50s, and that's kind of the purpose of this whole thing. So I'm going to show you what we take with us. Unlike the Europe trip, this is my best equipment, the most heavy duty, powerful equipment I can take for the best quality stuff. Obviously we have our costumes, which is a big part of our photo shoots. We like to do period costumes. And because this is like a little island in the Pacific, we're gonna have a shipwreck theme. So a lot of this is period piece, shipwreck type outfits. That's what most of our suitcases are gonna be. Then there's the photo gear. Uh, we're not going to take a lot of clothes for ourselves. It's just going to be basically bathing suits, costumes, and photo gear. That's mainly it. For the tripods and the modifiers, I have this long bag here, which is by Onstage Stands, which is a really great bag to have. It's really lightweight, doesn't weigh much, and you can put a lot of long things in here. I'll put the link down below if I can find it. But what goes in here is, I'm going to have um, some modifiers. The, this is the uh, Godox 120 centimeter large umbrella softbox. And I don't know if I'm going to take another 120 or, a, or an 80. I'm going to have a 120 for sure uh, and an 80 or a two 120s. And then I have my um, tripods. Impact makes the lightest stands. As you can see, I put the weight on each one. I weigh each one so I can know exactly how many pounds and ounces I'm taking because weight is so important when you go on a trip like this. Impact does not make the strongest stands, like the most sturdy stand, but they make the lightest stands. And that's important when you're traveling. And uh, they're pretty good if you take care of them, if you, if you baby them. But they are kind of, in my opinion, disposable. If something happens, no big deal, because they're not that expensive. So I'm taking two 10-footers, the LS10AB. I'll put the link down below. Uh, four 8-footers and two 6-footers. Um, why am I taking so many? Well, it's not just for lights for when I'm doing photography, but I'm also shooting videos and I'll get into that in a minute. So that's what goes in here, plus two tripods. These are really, really lightweight tripods. Um, this one, look how tall this gets. This is taller than me, and it only weighs 33.6 ounces. It's by Exit. It's the XT72TRB. I'll put the link down below. And this is the Travel 4 by Promaster, and it only weighs 29 0.9 ounces, which is really good. So they're pretty tall. They're very lightweight. I always have two because I have a backup camera. When I'm doing videos, like you know, vlogs or stuff like that, I always have two cameras going as a because in case one stops or something or doesn't work. You got to remember, I'm going to be in a really, really hot humid environment and a lot of times cameras overheat and one of them stops so it's good to have another one going as a backup. I don't use Sony cameras for <laughs> videos because they don't like the heat. All right now for the lights. So here's my lighting for the still photography and strobes. I have two AD 600s by Godox and three 200s and a 360. Yes, I'm still using the 360. It is a powerful light. It's more powerful than a 200. I know you can say put two 200s together, um, but for just standing on a stand and not taking up a lot of space, uh, and I do have a 400, but the 360 takes up less space and it's more travel. It, it's easier to travel with than a 400. Uh, I use the 200s in different locations come for lights from, from different sides, and these are my main lights that I use the modifiers for. I also have two snoots that only lights up her face and nothing else, so I have a spot of light with a flash. These things are really good for that, obviously batteries. And then for uh, video, I have these things. These are some of the world's most brightest LED flashlights. This is the most powerful video light you can get that's portable, small, lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, and I'm using these things here. So on one light stand, it's going to have one of these on top and I'm going to have one light on each side. So one light stand is going to have two lights on it and I'll have them on each side of me. So that's going to be for lighting me up in videos. And I have six of these. Very, very powerful. 
I have a small portable video light for when we're eating out or something like that. Got to have a light strip, <laughs> all kinds of plugs for different countries, clamps, uh, SSD drive. You got to have your gaffer's tape, especially for putting my microphones on. Headphones, a lot of lens cleaners. I have a um, sensor cleaner. Then we get into my audio equipment. I have two COS 11D by Sankin. Really, really small lavalier mics. Pretty expensive, but they're some of the best you can get. This is what professionals use. Uh, Sankin COS 11D. These are the three and a half millimeter versions. I also have a XLR version, which then goes into my, this is a Roland R26 recorder. And then when I'm on location, don't have a lot of, uh, don't want to take something heavy, and we just put it in my pocket or clip it on my bathing suit. I have two Tascam DR10L recorders and a wireless. I have a Sennheiser AVX wireless system. And now we get into the cameras. Here we go. All right. Starting off with my main camera, which is a Sony full frame A7 III. And it has a small rig cage around it so I can mount things on it like this, which has the AD200 on top. I made a video about that. Godox X1 flash trigger. And the lenses that go with that is the, um, I have a 55 on there right now, F1.8. Really, really good lens for Sony. Really fast autofocus. Great lens to have. You should never go anywhere without that. My 105, the big heavy monster, Sigma 105, 1.4, Zeiss 85, 1.8, one of my favorite lenses, super fast, super sharp, Sony Zeiss 35, 1.4. All my lenses have a ND filter and a polarizing filter because when I'm out in the sunlight and it's super bright, I still want to get that blurry background, that nice depth of field. So that's what the ND does. It takes the uh, exposure way down and the polarizing filter is so I can make, if there's white puffy clouds in the sky, it really makes a nice contrast between blue sky and white puffy clouds. All right, then we move down to my APS-C. I have my uh, 6400. I don't know if I'm going to take a 6300 or a 6400. I'm still kind of torn on that, and I have certain reasons for that. I'll get that in another video. But this is a really good lightweight camera just to have around. And my two lenses I'm taking is a Sigma 56 1.4 and a Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. Then I have my <laughs> two little video cameras. Um, my Samsung NX500, it this takes really, really amazing video. It gives like a 3D look and it's small and lightweight and I just like to play with it. This is like a play camera. I'm taking my 45 millimeter lens and my 30 millimeter lens. Of course, they have ND and polarizing also. And then for another video camera, which I'm going to do my vlogs with, is my Panasonic Lumix GX850. I think this one yeah, that has a flip up screen too. GX850, this takes really, 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 really good video. It takes 4K video too. The lens that I'm taking with it is a 45 millimeter 1.8 Olympus. Really good depth of field, nice blurry background. And also the 25 by Lumix. This has nice depth of field also. Then I'm taking my Sony RX100. Can't go anywhere without that. This is my all-purpose uh, Swiss Army knife of cameras. You never should go anywhere without this. Some of you might say, well, why don't you just do your vlogs with that? Because Sony's overheat, so I never do video with Sony. Um, and then I have this camera. This is for my backup. This is my Panasonic X900, which I've had. I've got four of these. The reason I have these is they, these are, this is like bulletproof. You could put these in the harshest conditions and it will continue taking video for hours and hours and hours. So this is always my backup camera that's running for, for, for video. Uh, so these are my cameras. They go in this bag here, which I made a video about, and the uh, carry-on stuff. So I have two carry-ons. I have this around my shoulder, which has all, all this, all the cameras and lenses going in this. This never leaves my side, so it cannot get lost. Uh, and then I have this also. This thing here is a roller bag. So that bag goes on top of this, and this has, you know, that, the, the, and this go, what this has is pretty much anything that's a battery because lithium ion, you have to carry it on with you. The flashlights and my audio gear. So that's what all goes in here. A lot of my camera stuff, I am actually taking on my person on the airplane as a carry-on. The only stuff I'm really checking in the big bags are the actual big flashes because they're just too big and heavy. So it looks like a lot, but it's not really. I mean, for some people who just like to take one camera and a tripod, but 
you know, this is, this to me, is, I'm a, this is a professional photo shoot. It's like Shorts Illustrated, Sports Shorts Illustrated. Those guys, when they shoot, they have like five people, some of which hold reflectors. Oh, that's another thing I'm taking, by the way. I'm taking a, two things. I'm taking a Lastolite gray card. You can't go, you should never go anywhere without a gray card. And a Lastolite gold reflector. This thing has been around for the world several times. I like this thing. You've got a white side, which is really good for just having it close up like this. Or a gold side for if you're further away and you really want to pop some light on the person. Now, a lot of people don't like gold. I love gold. It makes the skin more tan, more golden looking. And it helps it pop out against a cool blue background. So I really like the gold. It's really easy to fold up. And uh, if you cannot take a uh, strobe with you, this is a good backup. The only downside to this is I have to hold this thing. I have to hold this thing with one hand and take pictures with the other, which is really uh, not easy sometimes. I, I could put on a light stand, but usually where I am, it's windy. So this thing will be falling over and stuff. So it's really difficult to use this thing unless, of course, I'm on my knee like this and I can have it on the ground and hold it. It's easier to hold steady and then I can take pictures easier with that. Uh, speaking of cameras, I normally take, I always have backups because if the camera, something happens, I like to have a backup. I normally take uh, a second A7 III or, or an RS or something like that. I mean an A7S II or A7R. I don't know, they're all about the same for, for me. but. Um, so that's my gear. That's my do that layer. Because we're not having assistance or other people with us to help with stuff, sometimes you have to make up for that. Instead of having two people with a reflector, you have to have a light. This, this is my this is my assistance. In other words, having somebody standing there with a reflector, or I put this on a light stand, and it makes light on its own without having another person there. So we like to go the way we like to travel is we like to not have people with us so we can do we feel more comfortable we're more private we can do more you know um, pictures that would not make her very uh, comfortable if there was another person there did i say that right well and the other thing to take real quick i forgot um never go anywhere without safety pins there's always a need for these gaffers tape and safety pins because you got you got to tape clothing together you got to stick clothing together that's loose and always take something like this. These are um, all-purpose screwdrivers with all different kind of heads on them. They're small, they're portable, so I can you know, tighten and fix things. So it's later in the day now and I packed everything and I just want you to show you all that stuff you saw went into this. This is everything that you saw set up and it's down to this. And get this, this and this is my carry-on. This right here and this right here is my carry-on. That's the only thing I'm checking right there. That's all I'm checking in. And check it out. I mean, I've got, I've got one and a half suit. I've got a whole half and a quarter suitcase for clothes. And these things here that go on the 8200s, I'm going to fill these up with socks. See, it's empty space. So I'm just going to fill these up with socks. All my socks go in here. You know, little, little soft stuff. And then that goes in there. So this is it. This is my camera gear. She's got her own suitcase and I've got my own. We're only taking one suitcase each and that's my carry-ons. This is the only extra thing I'm taking. And this doesn't even weigh that much, really. It doesn't weigh that much. So I know it looks like a lot of stuff and it kind of is, but Look how small it gets down to. And then we're at an airport, you know, I can just do this and then just walk around like this. So it's not even like a lot of weight. It just rolls. And I did a video on the bags that I like to use. It's mainly think tank stuff. So that's it. I mean, all that stuff. We're going to do a major photo shoot for two weeks and this is it. That's the gear that we're using. The rest of it is closed. So. I just want to inspire you guys and show you what's possible. If you're smart, 
and you know how to pack right, this is what you can do. So I'm gonna take you obviously now on a whole series of videos and pictures and photo sessions that we're gonna be doing in one of the most amazing exotic locations in the world. I'll take you along and I'm gonna show you as we go the stuff that we're doing. So come along to the trip with us and I hope it inspires you because that's what this channel is about, to inspire you to make your own memories and your own beautiful experience. See you on vacation and uh, come on along for the ride. Marcus Picks, tell your friends about the channel. Wow.